Hello, so this is Andrew. I posted my I quit about the camera a moment ago or a few days ago. <laughs> and I figured it would just demonstrate how it actually works. It's still a bit choppy and a bit wobbly because it's it's cheap. Cheap uh, metal corners, corner braces that I just drilled holes in. And I would preferably have a, a complete axle for it. Uh, let's let's calibrate the tracking. So, as it's stepper motors, I can just move this, and we have the headset in the middle, well, almost in the middle, and I can keep track of it. This looks pretty magical. That's why I I like the direct tracking because it's it looks sublime. Let's move that so you can see it's pretty well centered throughout. Yeah, <laughs> it's still wobbly, so I'm considering going one axis, just the rotational. Um, but then in the application, which I should have added in the... Let's do that live. Let's add a window capture. Uh, and let's pick the camera tracking application. There we go. So, <laughs> I think I screwed up the... So I don't have enough amperage on my motor controller, the red, red board on top of the Arduino. So sometimes the motors actually have uh, too little torque to, to stay in position. <laughs> so if I move this really quickly... Yeah, sometimes it breaks anyway. But let's see... To adjust for for player height, I can actually reduce the, the vertical. So it it, it goes. Uh, the origin is in the middle. Now you can see I can crouch and 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 jump and still have pretty good be pretty well in frame. So if it's on my face, let's. I think this should be more. I don't know. If I'm crouching, you can see. Oh, it's pretty nice. I think I can angle it a bit further down. Yeah. <laughs> I also have some really crude smoothing. Let's activate that on both axi axi axis axes. But then it's trying to like smooth out the transition between the different positions. Let's actually move this up again. It's kind of choppy now because of the... I need to run it on a single thread on the Arduino and do both both stepper motors on the same, same uh, function call. Which means if one motor has more steps to do than the other one, it becomes really choppy because they have different lengths of of cues. Uh, so then one motor has to wait for the other one. So optimally, I would have two Arduinos running two USB cables with two different COM ports and have one motor per Arduino. Uh, I can also do weird stuff like average and all all connected <laughs> track devices. So that one's off. But now it does the average on these two. I don't think that's very useful because if you're standing here and you move your arm, it becomes quite... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's a feature anyway. <laughs> Otherwise, I can just adjust here what to track. So I move it to the controller. Yeah. Let's, let's turn off the smoothing. Oop, there I overloaded the, the motor controller. <laughs> it comes back again soon. I hope. <laughs> oh, did I destroy it? No. Maybe the power supply. Let's see. Homeboard is still open. Yeah, I'm probably breaking my electronics here. Uh. Reset.
well, that might be the end of it. <laughs> Let's reset the entire Arduino. Let's see if that... Oh, I have to kill both of these. Uh, I remember this is my camera. <laughs> let's see. Let's turn that on and let's turn that on. So that should be... Z now it's zeroed in, so then now I can just activate the camera tracking. And nothing happens. Isn't that interesting? Oh. Oops. This is probably bad. It's still... It's still having an LED. <laughs> Well, uh, I might have to get a new motor controller, I guess. But now you've seen it in action anyway. <laughs> that's it for me. Bye-bye.